right, Bill de Blasio is in. Is he about to drive small businesses out? Big questions of the Big Apple. All right, forget just New York City. Is this enough to make small businesses start getting nervous in every city? New York Mayor Bill de Blasio announcing big changes in the city's paid sick leave law. At least his goal is to do that. He wants to revise it so that businesses with as few as five workers now have to give workers at least five sick days. As it stands now, the minimum is 20 workers, so a lot more could be caught under this change. Uh, and other cities could follow suit, and that's the big concern. Why Steve Moore said it is not up to government to make these decisions anyway. But Steve, the mayor's going full steam ahead. He sure is. And, you know, you, this, these uh, policies may sound familiar. They're very much like what happens in Europe, where they basically treat businesses like their social welfare agencies. If somebody gets sick, you know, we feel bad about it. If they get injured, we feel bad about it. But the question is, Neil, should the burden of paying for that be on the backs of small businesses. I calculated this one change would cost small businesses in the city of New York about $50 million, and small businesses don't have that kind of money. All right, now the argument for it is that uh, you get more bang for the buck in terms of employee morale, and it, it improves a good, good sense of, of, of payback for the boss and bosses being understanding, blah, blah, blah. What do you make of that? Well, a couple of things. I mean, first of all, I would say that a lot of these businesses really can't afford the cost. They, they're operating on small margins. Um, they're sick of being treated like ATM machines. And some businesses will move out of the city. They'll move somewhere else that is more business friendly. Others just may go out of business, not just, not just because of this, Neil. I mean, this is a new administration that's taking over that is hostile to business. They want to raise tax rates. They want to raise the regulatory costs of these businesses. And I would say this, Neil, you know this, New York City is famous and rich because it is the financial capital of the world. And when you look at all these new regulations, all of these new taxes on capital, you wonder how long New York City can, can keep that standing. I'm wondering, too, um, whether the mayor knows this might be a losing fight, as it would be to try to raise taxes on the wealthy of the city because that's something he'd need approval from Albany, the capital, of the, in other words, it's a state mandate there. Uh, but he doesn't care that, that, that he would be sending a message, uh, I, I am going to go after businesses I think are not doing enough. I think that's right. And you know, what's interesting about this is that if you look at other cities and other pl places where Democrats rule, a lot of these politicians are looking at de Blasio in New York and saying, hmm, maybe we'll want to do this here in Philadelphia or Pittsburgh or right. Chicago. So this is a tip of an iceberg. I think it's very dangerous for cities. Like, if you want to know the end game of where this all goes when you treat, treat businesses like they're cash machines and when you hoard new regulations and, and new taxes on them, I would say the end game here is Detroit, where businesses leave and they become wake, like wastelands. Look, New York is not that, but I think it's moving uh, in right. that direction. Steve, good seeing you again. Yeah. Thank you. Steve See Moore. You.